their stocks up too. Mark Cuban stuff, a little bit more detail here on that low cost prescription drug company. This is one of those ones where, and we talked about it here in the show in the past, but it's one of those ones where you're not sure how to feel about it right at first. You're like, ah, Mark Cuban, Mm -hmm. billionaires. When's the last time a billionaire did something nice? (laughs) Knocked on your door. (laughs) When's the last time a billionaire knocked on your door? Mo's like, actually, yesterday. I was was having uh, tea with Elon. (laughs) I was like, really? High tea. I mean, you should have done it here on the show. Right, no, no, no. We were discussing uh, Twitter buy. But here's the thing. It seems completely legit. This uh, cost plus company Mm -hmm. came with this transparent concept of just... 15%. 15%. That's it. 15%. That's all we want. Yeah. Uh, it's like a, a partnership type thing. Like, it's like a commission. It's like, here's how much we want to make. Mm-hmm. And everything comes down from there. We're going to negotiate our deals. We're going to negotiate based on bulk. Mm-hmm. We got deep pockets, so we can do it. We got leverage, so we can do it. And this is when you start to look at the marketplace and say to yourself, why the hell didn't this happen sooner? Why didn't anybody else think of this? Where the hell were you? Because people are suffering with this stuff. And you see these bizarre models where, I mean, I'm watching TikTok over here, Mm -hmm. which is already a problem. For you, But I'm just clicking on, no, I'm not really watching. I'm clicking on these links because people Uh are saying, I was paying this for this. Mm -hmm. $50, $100, it goes down to $9. And you start to look at the way the markups work and you go to your, and you say, if the person who has insurance was to go through insurance, they would pay this other fee. Mm-hmm. It's cheaper th- for them to just ignore their insurance and let the marketplace take care of them. Yeah. But that seems, wait, what are you talking about? Well, how does that all work? Well, it's because. It's because. It's because. It is once you deal. have no, once you have a model in place and the two parties are aligned, in other words, the insurance company needs the high price in order to charge the high premiums. They need a a price to which you would be scared of so that Mm -hmm. you would then obviously uh, pay for the insurance. Right, yeah. If you don't have high drug costs, well, who cares? It's $9 for your prescription. Sure. You just, I can't afford that. Yeah. It's the the fear of uh, 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 landing yourself into um, some kind of ailment that requires a long-term prescription that's going to bury you. Exactly. That has been marked up at such a high rate that... So the insurance companies must hate this guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they do. Yeah, a target on his back, but he also, you open Pandora's box and everybody's like, oh, this can be done. Yeah. Uh, and there's all kinds of examples in this article. Basic structure of Cuban's companies that they buy high-demand drugs, and it's not all drugs yet, by the way. They want to expand, but they need these bulk deals to get those prices down. Then they're able to sell them at only 15% markup which can save patients anywhere from a couple of bucks to several thousand dollars from their prescription med- medications every here's a quote from uh cuban every product we sell is priced exactly the same way our cost plus 15 percent plus the pharmacy fee if there is any when you get your medicine from cost plus drug co you'll always know exactly how we arrived at the price they show it's completely transparent how they wow. got there wow and so i'm going through and all over social media people are like it's completely legit they're showing their packages they're showing their prices they're saying now i'm getting my life-saving seizure medication and i can actually afford it which is amazing 90 count for 30 bucks 90 tablets for 30 bucks these things could have been 300 or mm-hmm. it's 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 a uh, I mean, if you're a person who in the U.S. who's taking a medication long term, it's a popular medication. I mean, you have to kind of check this out. Yeah. Here's a person says, I just found a three month supply of the antidepressants I take for twenty eight twenty, saving me nine hundred and thirty dollars over the same span. Oh I mean, like it's just like orders of magnitude. It's not even the different. same world anymore. It's orders of magnitude. My medication is ninety dollars for a bottle of thirty pills without insurance. With insurance. It is twenty one forty nine. That's two hundred fifty seven eighty eight. I'd spend if I don't meet my high deductible. I just went to Mark Cuban's website to check out of curiosity. I get ninety pills for seven dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> I mean, what is this? Totally disrupts everything. Yeah, this is a massive game changer. It totally disrupts everything, and so it seems completely legit at the moment. I mean, obviously, I haven't. I don't take any long term <clears throat> medications. I and I and I don't think we can get it shipped to Canada anyway. Even if I did. But there were uh, some clips of like birth control as well. Look at this. Right? Here's a leukemia medication. R- uh, retail price was marked up 17,700%. Oh, man. 
Look at the retail price versus what Cuban's able to get it for. It's just, it's nutty. It's crazy. It's a, a margin like no other. And it's, it's, and it's a recurring cost. That's the other thing. It's not a one-time deal that you pay some tremendous margin. It's actually kind of like really gross to see behind behind that number what the real number is. Yeah, and you know, the other thing too is if you don't have the market do it, and let's say you get the government, like here we have... Uh, healthcare. Healthcare. But if you get the government to do it, who's doing these negotiations? Mm -hmm. What leverage do they have? Like they right. go the drug company charges them what they want to charge and the government goes oh i guess that's the price yeah because the consumer's not making the deal you just show up and get the bottle and move on with your life yeah it, like what cuban's doing is driving prices down across the board mm -hmm. through this this particular business so we got to wait and see obviously i don't like i said have personal experience with it but there's plenty of examples in this particular uh, article of people who have like it's like like life changing for them i totally so, agree the god Dot com. <laughs> it's daily dot dot com. I don't know. It's like a sub hmm. uh, site, a sub site, interesting of some kind. Hmm. I, I think is it like good news or something? I, I think is it an acronym? It, since you've now pointed that out, well, uh, the God Pod. I mean, I don't think it's religious because of the headlines. Oh, they do have a podcast. Yeah, I know. Oh. There's probably like an about at the bottom of what it actually is. I don't I don't know what it is. Nope. Infinite scroll. Right. Pro on. Probably under the yeah, mo yes, please. <laughs> Unnecessary. <on>. Unnecessary. 